What is up, Midwest Speedfest? Welcome to Smash Brothers Melee Adventure Mode. And joining me is the Elite Gaming Popsicle himself. No! Yes, Elite Pop. Don't <laughs> elite Popsicle. Hey, I saw that C stick flick. Don't try and get my attention by flicking this C stick around. I'm a. You can't stop me. You can't stop me, Elite Gaming Popsicle. <laughs> And we're going to be racing Super Smash Brothers Melee Adventure Mode. Um, I don't know, what, is there anything more that we need to talk about right now? There's going to be a lot of tech throughout this run, we're going to explain. It's going to go pretty quickly. Um, let's see, I'm ready on Mushroom Kingdom. You ready to go, Zoch? Uh, I'm now ready on Mushroom Alright, let's go in. Three, two, one, go. All right, so Smash Brothers Melee, uh, one of the most iconic fighting games out there. And there's so much great tech in this run to make it such a great speed run. We're gonna be using Falcon here. He's gonna be uh, just a super great character for this speed run. Uh, Nair is gonna be really helpful throughout a lot of fights here, as you're gonna see with this Yoshi fight. Gonna take out these Yoshis really quickly. We're gonna be jumping to the top, ideally. Trying to get them right as they spawn. When I'm getting hit there by those Goombas, I'm also going to be doing something called uh, crouch canceling, which is just uh, you, you essentially hold down as you get hit and you're going to get sent a little bit less. Oh, I messed I up. Did you really? No! Uh, I hit it on a 622. So, when you end Mushroom Kingdom, uh, if you end it when you're in and your timer that's counting down is on the number two, you actually spawn in Luigi instead of Mario. And it's like a two second, two or three second time loss. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate right there. Freaking Luigi. I love that strap, by the way, with DK. <laughs> One knee and you're done. <laughs> so this is gonna be the if part. You're if you're good. <laughs> this is gonna be the part of the run that's gonna be most RNG. Um, Hyrule here, there's, we're trying to get the Triforce here. And, um, oh, oh, best RG, yes. <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh man, so best RG, that's really, really good. Um, that's pretty rare to get, too, so that's awesome. I wanted to be fancy, get an extra knee there, did not get it. Just though a lot of runs died and not getting the, the best Hyrule RNG. I didn't get best RNG, feels oh. bad, man. So, yeah, now it's pretty much just gonna be me, uh, I'm gonna be having to go through the underground maze like a pleb. Um, mm. and you'll see- oh, okay, there wasn't horrible RNG. Okay. But, so you saw that there was the sword in that stand, and you can actually, if you don't, uh, touch, like, a specific- if you're not, like, a certain distance from the sword, then, um, I can actually skip having to fight a Link there. Ready, go. Oops. Aw. Oh. Dang it, Kirby. There we go. <laughs> so one of the concepts about this game uh, that makes it unique from other fighters is called directional influence. And how it works is that when you get hit by a move, you can angle yourself very slightly. And, um... Because of that, sometimes the AI will live when you don't want them to. As example, that Kirby that I just fought. Phone, please. Ruby's just becoming so popular. <laughs> One, two, oh, me, oh. Kirby is a pink guy. A pink guy. <laughs> oh. Because Kirby is very cute. <laughs> you gotta do it for him. For the fans. 
of his chat. Ah, uh, don't worry, it happens. It can be a pretty tough run. The mechanics in this game are super tight. Even just like, very, very slight things can uh, add up to a lot of time. Especially being this run, like, as short as it is. So I'm just on the Pokemon fight right now. Uh, essentially, we're just going to be nairing all these Pikachus. Sometimes there's Jigglypuffs and whatnot that spawn here. Same idea with that. If you're a Wobbuffet fan, there you go. Got a Wobbuffet in the middle. <laughs> um. What's up? One Q oatmeal is not going well. Oh no! <laughs> I think if chat uh, sings one two oatmeal enough, then it'll go well. Do it for Zajalix chat. Do it for Elite Gaming Popsicle. Oh, fuck you, Bob. So right there, that was another example of crouch canceling. What I did with those uh, cars there. By holding down, I, um, I was able just to kind of propel myself from the cars and not necessarily have to um, go on any of the platforms. All right, Nest fight is really RNG. We'll see how it goes. Usually doesn't like to cooperate. Oh, that's okay. Yep. <laughs> Come on, Ness. Come on, Ness. Come on, Ness. Come on, Ness. Okay, we'll do this then. Wow, I got a Goldeen spawn. Hey, Scissor's not bad. Oh, no, no, no. Let's go. That's decent RNG. That is decent RNG. Lost two seconds because just Pokemon RNG in general is rough. <laughs> Ness fight is not going well at all. Oh my god, Ness. <laughs> Ness, keep trolling and uh, catch up. Ness, uh, so ideally, the strat is you get one Falcon Punch on them, but that's it's gonna be a pretty tough strat. And even if you do get it, the AI can DI, and as a result, you will still have to go and fight them. The best scenario is if they all DI to the left or right, and then you just can uh, KO them instantly from one Falcon Punch. This is a little bit of an auto score I'm in. How are you doing, Sojalex? I just entered the Captain Falcon fight. Good luck, man. This song is. Oh no. <laughs> what happened? I hit him dead on, like, he fell off the platform and got hit, and then I hit him with a falcon punch, and he survived the falcon punch. Yeah, that sounds like, uh, some marathon luck right there. <laughs> Ness? Alright. Here on the ice climbers, if you do a side B there, it takes care of them really quick. Just like that, and we got two for one combo, so that was pretty nice. You can get both ice climbers and one side B. That's your ideal. Nest. Not Bumblebee this time, so I don't know why he's not cooperating. Wait, there's a car there. Oh. He hit me with the Mr. Saturn and sent me running in the other direction. <laughs> Happens. <laughs> so we're gonna do uh, an up tilt right here. And then, oop. Gonna do that. Ah, oh, almost. Little bit of a slow Metal Mario fight, but we're okay. And now I'm going on to the final fight right now. Time will be on game. Triple knee strat here, ideally. There we go, and time. Wow, that's a really good time. Thank you. Yep. 8.34, my PB is an 8.25. So overall, it was a pretty solid run. Let's give some 1-2 oatmeals to Zojalix. There we go, I get to see some Falcon there. Get the credits play. Nice. 
while we're in this auto scroller, just make sure that um, make sure to donate by typing exclamation mark donate. Learn more about the OI Foundation by going to oif.org. Learn more about what we're doing here. Okay, I didn't air, but that's fine. Did you know if There's you hit? Always... <laughs> oh. There's always one wireframe, isn't there? There always is at the very end. One doesn't like to cooperate. Hey, did you know if you hit all the credits, everyone who worked on Melee, that you'll unlock Toad? <laughs> Press X to doubt. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the first knee. Not the hair dust off the ledge. No. <laughs> I'm so bad. Oh my gosh. I feel like every single time we race this, I die in the last fight. I think that has happened, yeah. <laughs> it's all good though. GG. But yeah, that's uh, Smash Bros. Melee Adventure Mode. There's so much tech to this game that we didn't get to explain with how short of a run this is, but there's so much good tech, and it's a really fun, great speed run. Um, if you have... It's really difficult. It's, like, it, it, well, I won't say it's difficult, because honestly, with a lot of melee, you literally just, even if you can't, like, don't necessarily feel comfortable doing, like, the fastest strats, just a lot of strats you can do, you can just do because you're comfortable with them, and you can still get a pretty decent time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fight Jigglypuff, too. I already fought Jigglypuff. Oh, wait, I can fight Luigi! I gotta fight Luigi. That's the important part. But yeah, I mean, this run's super easy to get into, um, I know that it's super short, so like, even though the strats might seem a little freaky, like, the run's super short and it's pretty easy to practice, so like... Hmm. Oh my... Uh... I now I'm- I'm now- oh, I just lost to Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just know there's- I don't want to talk about what just happened. <laughs> Just know there's a lot of great categories in Smash Brothers speedrunning, and it's a really good series to get into. So, glad we were able to show this off at mid-spring. Yeah. What Gooby said. And coming up next, it looks like we've got Cave Story 3D, which is going to be fantastic. So, stick around for that, everyone.